Oh my god, okay. <laughs> hello, hello. I'm I'm so sorry that I haven't been on YouTube for almost exactly three months. It's been a little crazy and I'm gonna do a life update in later of this video because I don't want, you know, I just wanna get you to what you came here for and then you can listen to the update if you want. This is going to be obviously from the title, I'm going to be explaining how I turn my illustrations into waterproof stickers. Yay, finally. Okay, so it's gonna be really weird because I'm usually talking really, really fast on my TikToks, but I'll explain why that is later on. If you haven't been following me on TikTok, I will explain why later. But let's get to what you actually came for that I promised you three months ago. <laughs> Sorry. So this video is gonna be explaining how I used to do my stickers and then how I do them now. So let's get to it. Also, I'm not gonna show you much of the studio because I have a whole studio transformation, unpacking, I mean, packing up the other studio and unpacking this studio. That's gonna be a whole different video. I vlogged the entire thing. It was about a month or two process, but that's coming soon. I just have to find time to edit it, but it's coming soon, I promise. So I'm not gonna show you that much of the studio, but I'm obviously gonna show you the sticker part of the studio because that makes sense for this video. So, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking now. Okay, bye-bye, sorry, bye. All right, so here are my stickers. So this sticker sign I actually put up in my other studio, but I had all this space, so I wanted to put Zenspire, but unfortunately, I don't have the plug strip, so it's coming in two days, but um, I just got these letters on Amazon on. Instead of paying hundreds of dollars to get a custom neon sign, I just paid, I forget how much it is, but it'll be linked down below, each letter individually, and they're either USB or battery operated, so, and I hung them up, so that's the stickers, and this will say Zenspire. So yeah, here's all the stickers. I have over 700 different stickers. They're all waterproof. I have minis and bigs and then sticker sheets and whatnot, so let me get to explaining. All right, so the first area that I'm coming in is my closet, which I'm also not going to show you yet because it is Oh, mess. This is my handy dandy cricket that uh, I've used only a few times. So, um, that's fine. I still love you, but I don't use it that much. But I used to use it to make stickers whenever I was just starting out stickers and whatnot. And I just got like the Cricut sticker paper on Amazon. But for me, that did not work because I needed to print hundreds and hundreds a day for orders. So I was like, even though I would love to, love to, okay, I'm gonna get out of the closet. Hold on. So even though I would absolutely love to just print all the stickers myself, that is really not ideal at all right now because I need thousands and thousands of stickers like a day and a week. What I did was I researched all around Google and I was like custom vinyl waterproof stickers. So I wanted to make sure they were completely waterproof. And since they'll be going on water bottles usually and cars, I wanted to make sure they're car wash safe and also dishwasher safe, which is very rare to find because people like say it's dishwasher safe it's not actually dishwasher safe, but mine are actually dis <laughs> dishwashers, di dish washer safe. So, so on Google, whenever I looked up vinyl custom stickers, a few websites came up, but I tried two, and luckily, if you pay like a dollar, I think, I think on both of them, if you pay a dollar, you get sent samples so you know exactly like what the material is because each website has different materials you can choose from. So the two places that I got samples from was StickerMule and StickerApp.com. Well, StickerMule.com and StickerApp.com. So StickerMule is located in the US and StickerApp is actually located in Sweden. So I was like, I would like to stay in the US, but let's see how the samples go. So I waited a bit and the samples came in and luckily I was able to get one of my designs printed just because my stuff is so intricate that I was worried that it wasn't gonna come out or the colors weren't gonna come out, so I wanted to make sure like they were like good. So I got the samples back and I fell in love. I mean, okay, Sticker Mule is fine. They're fine, they're fine. You know, they're they're great. A lot of people use them. I personally just liked the stickerapp.com website better in there in Sweden. So I was like, okay, I guess whatever shipping's gonna be crazy, but luckily you don't have to pay for shipping at all unless you want it faster than a week. And that's from Sweden, Sweden. And it only takes a week to get here. Also, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I get restocks almost every single week. And my last, my biggest restock I've ever bought was uh, $12,000 worth. 
$12,000 in the course of one hour to get inventory back up. And you would think, you would think, you would think that the company would sponsor me or anything and nope. <laughs> any sponsor I don't have any coupon codes kind of sucks but it's it's fine so uh, I'm not making this video out of out of a sponsor like I've been using sticker app for three years because that's whenever I started doing stickers was three years ago which is insane so I uh, don't think I'm trying to you know say nice things because I'm being paid because I'm certainly not getting paid I'm paying them thousands of dollars a week <laughs> so it's fine it's fine business you got you gotta spend money to make money but you don't have to spend obviously that much money. I personally have to because that's just how my business is right now, which is great. Very thankful for that. It's just inventory goes very, very quickly here. So I have to, and you would think like I, I buy hundreds of each one every single week and they just fly out the door, which is great. But it's kind of hard to keep up with inventory, but I'm trying to have double stock. That's a whole nother thing. I'm not gonna get into that right now. But what I was saying was, so the way sticker app works is that you just, mm, okay. So I was just gonna explain how sticker app works, but I might as well just show you as if I am ordering a sticker, right? Yeah, okay. So let's go over to my computer. Also, before I get to it, all the apps that I use to draw and whatnot are in the video posted before this, which was three months ago when I posted it. It's fine, we're fine. So for everyone going to be asking what apps I use to draw my stickers, that is in the video before this or linked down below, I guess. I forgot how to YouTube, it's fine. So yeah, essentially I just freehand draw the sticker on my iPad and then I save it as a JPEG and then I upload it to the website, which I will show you right now. Also, it's super easy. All right, so the first step you gotta do is just go to stickerapp.com and then there's all these different options and just upload your file and then it will come up like this. First, what I like to do is just change the height to about five inches and then I go to the cut line and then I click small and that kind of gives you a very, very small white outline of the sticker. Once you figure out what cut line you want, then you can look at all the different materials, but I like to use the vinyl sticker material. Then you click save and then it takes you to the checkout, which shows you the different quantities and the prices and also the shipping, how shipping's free unless you want it faster. But yeah, that's about it. All right, and just like that, you wait a week and you get a bunch of stickers in the mail. So like I said, it's super easy to do. Um, this is the sticker. This is one of my favorite stickers um, other than the Dreams Don't Work Unless You Do because that's, you know, my life. <laughs> it's super, super simple and I, I'm sure people thought it was way more intricate than that or, you know, I used to print them myself, but the way that I'm growing, it would be absolutely impossible to print. Like I get like thousands of stickers, thousands of stickers a week. So it's a lot easier if I just design them and then I have someone else print them and then I wait for them to come in the mail. And like I said, shipping's free unless you want it faster, as you saw, then you need to pay more, but shipping's free from Sweden. What? And like, it doesn't take four weeks to get something from Sweden. It takes about a week, unless, you know, something happened with, you know, UPS, because that happens. And if you're an online business, you understand that the post office is very frustrating sometimes because once a package is in their hands, there's nothing I can do about it. So luckily 99% chance it will get there. No, get to me. Anywho, so I guess here's a little perk of having another company print your stickers other than you doing them because like obviously everyone just wants to do it themselves but if you want to grow your business in time management whatnot, it's for me at least, it makes more sense for someone else to print them and then just have them shipped to me and then I design them and whatnot. So that's why a lot of people think I just buy them online, like already designed and then I resell them. I'm like, no, I designed them myself. A lot of people don't believe me, but I do. So I know a lot of people do use the Cricut machine to make their stickers, which is totally 100% fine. I just personally rather use a company that I know that the sticker is 100% waterproof, water resistant, dishwasher safe, and car wash safe because a lot of people put their stickers on water bottles and they want to be able to wash them, especially if it's on like their kids' water bottles. Totally can just go right through the washing machine, the dishwasher can totally go right through the dishwasher machine and then also the car wash because a lot of people put them on their cars and they're worried that, you know, if it snows or rains and they're gonna peel off or fade in the sun, they're like UV ray protected and whatnot. There's a bunch of layers on one sticker, which seems ridiculous, but I have a sticker on my car. It was the first sticker I ever made, which is a sunflower sticker. I put it on my car. It's been there for three years. 
has not peeled off, hasn't faded or anything. Like absolutely, totally fine. And they last a really long time. And I, hold on, let me go get my water bottle, hold on. So here is my water bottle. They've been on this water bottle since I think September 2018 or 2019. No, 2018. Like a year and a half and it's totally fine. Like it's dented and whatnot, but the stickers are totally fine. So that's, that's good. And this thing, I just took it to the beach on the beach, the sand and everything, totally fine. And then also you can put it on devices such as like, hold on, your laptop case. I didn't want to put the stickers physically on the laptop. <laughs> so what I did was I just got one of these clear cases and then I just put the stickers on here. So you don't, you know, not that it's gonna ruin it and you could take them off too. It's just, I personally just wanted it on the case and not on the actual laptop. And they are restickable about one or two times. You just gotta get under it and it comes right off in one piece and it won't damage the service they're being put on. And then my all time favorite is my iPad. I have them all over my iPad. Anytime I get a new iPad, I always have to cover in stickers just because that's just who I am. It's fine. So I have my iPad and my water bottle and my laptop and just, you know, anything that I can do, especially, hold on, I also have this. Um, I was gonna show you the, the uh, acrylic chair that I covered in stickers, but um, it is underneath a bunch of boxes because I haven't unpacked fully this studio yet. So um, here's a clip, I mean, here's a photo and little TikTok thing that I made of uh, me decorating it. So yeah, this is this is it. I love it, it's great. I got the chair from Hobby Lobby and I decided to cover it in like 500 of my stickers. I couldn't get all the stickers on there, but I got a lot on there, so that's cool. I, I enjoyed that. I'm trying to cover more stuff. I bought a mirror that I'm gonna cover the edges around. I wanna get a coffee table and cover it in stickers, so that's just, that'll come whenever I have two seconds to breathe. <laughs> As for just the stickers and whatnot, if you're starting out, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on sticker inventory like I do. You literally, I think the the minimum payment is $20. You can get these and it depends on what size and how many you get. If you get more, obviously the cost will go up, but the cost for each sticker will go down, if that makes sense. Like I said, this is not a sponsored post at all. I wish it was. But, um, and I wish there was like a code that I could give you guys, but I can't because they didn't give me a code. So take my word for it, I guess. But if you are starting out, I'm gonna make a whole, obviously another video. Cause everyone keeps asking me on TikTok, asking like, how do I start a business? All that. And it's, I can't really explain that in a one minute video on TikTok. So that is on my list of different YouTube videos to do. I just have to do it. So, but if you have been paying attention to my TikTok, you realize I am nonstop every single day and I'm still behind on stuff. So if only there was five of me. God, it's 2020. Can't we clone already? Anywho, I don't know what else there is left to say about it. So it's stickerapp.com. And the weird thing is they don't even have an app, which I don't know why it's called sticker app, but if you're like me and you want to print thousands of stickers for your company, use use a printer, use a printer. Don't be ashamed that like, you know, if you're an Etsy seller, it seems like everything is homemade and whatnot on Etsy, but you know, I'm an Etsy seller. 100%. I've been on Etsy for five, six years, I think. Yeah, five, six years. I mean, I do my own prints and I draw everything myself and whatnot, all freehand and everything like that. But with stickers, it's just, it makes more sense to get them printed. So I feel like a broken record now. This is the portion of the video that you probably came for. The rest of this video is going to be me explaining what I've been doing for the last three months. Because, I mean, there's not that much to explain because if you follow me on TikTok, you would know. So I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys about that and but if you want to click off words if you want to click off that's totally fine I hope you try to make your illustrations into stickers because it's super fun I, I still remember the first time I ever got the stickers from sticker app and it was my sunflower sticker obviously I said and what I did was I wasn't even doing digital work back then like I only started digital work maybe three three years ago most of my stickers were done with micron pens sharpies and whatnot so the sunflower sticker let me go get the sunflower sticker hold on I just realized I'm out of the sunflower sticker so I can't even show you what it looks like I mean I can show you like right here that's the sunflower sticker but I can't show you the physical sticker because I'm out of it and I'm waiting for more inventory to come this week so 
it's fine, it happened. Oh, what I was saying was I used to do everything with Sharpies on my Chrome pen, so I would just scan it and then make sure it wasn't gonna be pixelated and got it printed and it was really cool. And as soon as I started making them, people were like, hey, can you make this print? Cause I used to just do prints. Can you make this print into a sticker? And I was like, sure. And then I just got addicted to it. And now I have over 700 sticker, different, literally different designs, different illustrations that I have made 700 into stickers. I love stickers. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I've been, you know, doing it for a while and I'm trying to, I just got keychains made and whatnot. And I'm gonna move into magnets and enamel pins and all that stuff. So. I'm always thinking ahead in case the sticker trend, I don't even know. I did, I started stickers three years ago and then luckily a year in doing stickers, the Hydro Flask sticker obsession and the Visco Girl attacked the internet. So luckily my business was perfect for the trend or whatever was happening. So but as of right now, it's still, it's still going really well. You know, I love doing stickers and I just think they're so fun and small and they're not, I try to make everything, you know, affordable and whatnot. So I do have more expensive things on my website, but I also have things that are a dollar. You know, if you just want one sticker from me, that's fine. That's fine, it's a dollar. So, okay, I'm gonna stop talking, but stickerapp.com, that is where I get my stickers made for everyone who's asking for so many years. I've explained it on TikTok, but sometimes people still ask. So I will refer to them to this YouTube video. So stickerapp.com, I will have it linked down below. I wish I had a code for you guys, but I don't. It's it's fine, it's worth it, it's worth it. Just get like one design made and then you're gonna fall in love with it and then you're just gonna turn into me and just keep making more stickers, so. So I wish you the best of luck making your illustrations come to life in stickers and whatnot, so yeah. So th that portion of the video is done. Now, if you wanna stick around, that's fine. If you don't, that's also fine. I'll see you in the next video. Don't know when that is going to be. It's gonna be my studio. Studio, though it's gonna be my studio renovation well the first part of the studio renovation once I have my Zenspire light all lit up I'm going to be posting the moving out of that video I mean the moving out of that studio moving into this studio video so so that's gonna come soon but as of now follow me on TikTok because I vlog every single day for the last 87 days I have vlogged every single day on TikTok I'm gonna sit down and explain to you where I've been and where I'm going, I guess. Thank you for watching this segment. If you're leaving, bye bye I will see you in the next video. But if you're staying, get some water and popcorn and just sit down because I don't know how long this is gonna be. Hopefully not long. Okay, let's go sit down and talk. Hello. All right, hello. Uh, welcome to the segment of me just gonna be talking. Hopefully it's not gonna be a rant. But if it is, welcome, it's fine. So, hold on. Don't forget to drink your water today. Do it, water's great. Okay, so um, <laughs> where have I been for the last three months of my entire life? Pretty much the last time I talked to you was, let me, let me give you the exact date. Not that I talked to you, but I gave you, last time I gave you an update of what my life was like. Ooh. Okay, last time I gave you an actual update was April 3rd, and the last time I gave you guys a video was April 9th. That was three months ago. And I was doing so good, I was doing so good. I was posting almost every day, every other day. I was trying to post twice a week, and I really fell in love with YouTube again, but then the world just ended <laughs> for like a second, um, and a lot happened. So last time I talked to you guys, quarantine was just starting, and COVID was just starting, and things were so up in the air with everything, like with life, and just the studio, and just everything going on in the entire world. At that time, I was like, oh, I'm gonna kick kicked out of my studio because I'm in an office building and I was afraid that they were going to close the office building because of quarantine and because of COVID and whatnot. So I was really worried. I was like, do I have to bring all my stuff back to my parents' house? Like how I started my business was in their basement and their, you know, dining room. But luckily I talked to the people who own the building and they were like, no, it's totally fine. Like you're a single person that works in your studio. You're totally fine to keep working. And I was like, oh my God because that would have sucked. <laughs> so, and like, cause I'm literally here like 10 to 12 hours a day. So I can't even imagine not having my studio during the last three months of quarantine and of this entire pandemic that I, like I would go absolutely insane, insane 
insane if I had to stay home. And I like, obviously I was like staying home. I wasn't going out with friends or anything. I really wasn't going to the store ever, literally ever. Amazon was great <laughs> and curbside pickup was great. But I was pretty much just wake up and go to the studio. And luckily I live two minutes away from the studio. <laughs> so I essentially just lived in my studio for three months, pretty much. And I still live in my studio, pretty much. <laughs> it's fine. Like, okay, so everyone was on TikTok because they were at home and they had nothing else to do but go on the internet. Which for online businesses, that is great because we're online. You know, you don't have to come to our store. We don't have to close our shop or anything, which is really, really great for the time in the world that we are living in right now, that everything is just online or, you know, curbside and whatnot. But for an online business, and if you have TikTok, small businesses and TikTok, they mesh like peanut butter and jelly or sunflower butter for my nephew because he's allergic to peanuts. Anywho, they mesh really, really well. So what I did was I was, you know, I was kind of growing on TikTok, maybe like a couple hundred new followers a week. But then on April 22nd, I was like, you know what? You know, I do so much in one day. And instead of me blowing up my Instagram story, why not just try to do a one minute vlog on my TikTok? And then maybe, you know, because I was doing little videos here and there of me doing projects and whatnot and trying to using the trendy music, but that just wasn't working. And also it's really hard to grow on Instagram. Just, it just is. It took me five years to get to 100K, but it's taken me a year to get like 500K on TikTok. So don't know how that works, but I still love Instagram though. It's great. But TikTok is my new obsession. It's fine. It's become my main social media for my business. So I really hope it doesn't get banned, but if it does, we'll work through it. We'll find something else. So on April 22nd, I started daily vlogging every single day on TikTok. And I guess from that, people enjoyed watching my everyday, very chaotic, very jam-packed, busy day of running my own business. And I guess people enjoyed watching that. And a lot of people were like, you do a lot in a day. And I was like, I do. Like, I didn't realize how much I did in a day until I filmed it. Like I used to vlog and everything, but I didn't vlog all the things that I do on TikTok. That makes sense so they just i don't know it's just i do a lot of things and a lot of people think i just go to my studio and just sit there and not do anything and i'm like i wish i wish <laughs> that i had time to not do anything but when you're running a business and you know there's a million things to do and yes i'm an illustrator yes i sell stickers but that doesn't you know that doesn't mean i I don't know, it's weird. There's, th I can go into this all day, but I'm not going to because this is an update, which I told you it's gonna be a rant. Not that it's a rant, but it's just I haven't really sat down and talked in a while. It's just gonna be one of those, one of those updates. So yeah, I started vlogging on TikTok and I guess people liked it. I started getting on the For You page and whatnot and next thing I know, I was getting thousands and thousands of new followers a day and like thousands of new customers, which is great because the way that TikTok works, I was able to link my website to my TikTok, which is great. So thanks TikTok for that. As for bringing traffic in, I just try to be as transparent as I possibly can because I think when you want to order from a business, you kind of want to know like the person behind the business, I guess. So I wanted to give that insight to my life that a lot of people are now doing, but I just never did that. And I mean, I kind of vlogged ish on my Instagram stories, but there would just be so my Instagram story would be so long and I just feel so bad. I was like, this is like, I don't know how many people actually want to see this. So I rather just make one video and then post it on my Instagram story. And it only takes up four little spaces instead of like 40 spaces. That's why I like doing the little minute vlogs every day. Cause they're super fun. And I really like the voiceover and it's just, I don't know, it's it's nice to capture every single day. And like, I, I used to love doing vlogs on YouTube. I used to love it, but it's so much more time commitment to do that because not that like I have to look better or like I'm using my actual vlogging camera to do this and not my phone to um, record everything that I do for my daily vlogs on TikTok. So it's just, I just, I'm gonna get back to it, I promise. Just as of right now, I'm going to stick with the TikTok vlogging just because it's a lot easier. I don't know, I, I, I enjoy doing the little ones instead of, you know, uploading my footage and getting background music and doing all these edits and whatnot. I'm gonna get to it when I have time, but as of right now, 
I don't. So, and I, that, you know, if you obviously see my vlogs, you, you know that I, there's a lot going on. It's very stressful, but I'm getting to it. It's fine. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna get everything done. And I'm so appreciative to like literally everything and everyone who's ever bought anything for me. I just, thank you so much. Sunspire Designs turned six this year, which is crazy because I dropped out of college six years ago to start my own business. And here I am. <laughs> also, I have me on why I dropped out of college and whatnot in a different video that I did like a year or two ago. But, so if you wanna know why, actually why I dropped out of college, it is there. Yeah, stay in school if you need to stay in school, but that was just not my path. And I would not imagine being where I am today. So, I don't even know what this life update right now segment of this video is. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but if you're still here, thanks for sticking around. Like I said, that's why I wanted to put all the actual important information in the beginning of this video, because I don't want you guys to wait or have to watch through this if you didn't want to. So, but if you're still here, thanks for being here. Over all the last three months, I've, <sighs> what has happened? Well, last, this, this past month, I've moved studios. I designed a children's coloring book that's not out yet, but it's actually like a legit published. It's gonna be on Amazon and whatnot, so that's not out yet. I've expanded my staff. So long story short, let's see, okay. My mom started working for me, like fully paid and whatnot. Cause before I was like, ah, I don't know if I could do that. But then I got to a point where, you know, I was financially able to pay her. So she's paid full time. And then we have my aunt. So I have my mom, my aunt, and then our family friend, Janice. She is now paid employee staff of Zenspire Designs. And then also my friend. And then I have Alexine who comes in here a few hours a week. Just, I'm like, hey, if you're bored and you want to make some money, you can come and do, you know, shipping labels and stamp things for us. Like all like the tedious little work that someone else could easily do, she does. So as of right now, we have my mom, my aunt, Janice, and Alexine. And then sometimes my friend Maddie, but she hasn't been here in a while. So four, four to five people actually are paid employees here which is insane to me. That's crazy, that's crazy. I didn't like think about it till right now that <laughs> I have like four employees that I, I personally pay out of my money and you know, I'm able to make enough money to pay the people who are so wonderful and so helpful. You have no idea I would just be in a hole without them. So thank you and luckily it's most of my family and um, close friends. If I ever do end up hiring people outside of my family or close friends, I will let you know. But as of right now, um, I'm just trying to keep it close knit because we're here for you know 10 hours a day. I wanna make sure it's like a comfortable environment that like, you know what I mean? That's exciting. And my dad does a lot of work, but he didn't wanna get paid, so he's just helping me. <laughs> but my mom, like her only job is me, so. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, that was, there's not really a much update. It's just every single day we work on orders. We are, you know, obviously right now trying to move the studio. And I have wholesale orders and I have custom orders that I have like 90, 90 custom orders that I have to get done. And I love, I love doing custom orders so much. It's just, they take so much time. And I got to a point that I had to stop taking them because I would do 10 of them, but then I would get 10. So it didn't seem like I ever really caught up with anything. So I'm not accepting any custom orders until the beginning of August, which I just realized. Oh my God, when is August? When is August? So I have about two weeks to get 90 orders done. Hmm, did not realize that until right now. Cool, it's fine. I, I thrive, this is where I thrive. Also, I have a couple weeks to, <laughs> I also have a couple weeks to design an entire coloring book that's gonna be like in legit stores, not just on my website. Like it's gonna be like very exciting, like published and everything. And I'm just, I'm so excited for it. It's just, I'm really, 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 really bad. Not bad, we'll just say I, I tend to take on a lot more work than I probably should, but I love working. So, you know, it's just one of those like, Berta, you can't get all this done. But I'm like, no, I totally can. And I was like, no, you need sleep. No, I don't. Even though I do. I sleep at very, very weird times. And if you follow my TikTok, you would know that I do a lot of all-nighters. And sometimes it's just, you know, the only time to do emails is from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. It's fine. We're fine, we're working, it's, it's, 
it all works out in the end of the day. Kind of, sometimes, not really. Even if I'm here for 18 hours, I still don't get everything done. But it's fine, so, okay. Sorry that this wasn't really like an update. It's just, you know, it's just, there's just been a lot. Ever since I personally blew up, I guess, if you wanna say it? I don't know. Since I blew up on TikTok, my business has completely blown up, which is wonderful. Thank you so much, because that's just, I never thought where my business is, and that it would ever get to this, so. But this is where I thrive. This is where I thrive. When there's like a million things on my to-do list, I just go, I love it. I love it so much, and I'm not being sarcastic at all. I love working. I love working so much. Like, when I wake up, like, I'm not, I'm not dreading to go to work. I'm not dreading my life anymore. I used to be very unhappy. Very, very unhappy. Like, you know, semicolon very unhappy. Um, but that's a whole other thing that I can get into later, which I probably won't get into. But we'll just say uh, life was not really good for me because I wasn't waking up and loving what I did. When I was 16, I was selling wedding dresses randomly and then whenever i was in college i worked at forever 21 which was terrible <laughs> and then i was like no nah, i'm quitting this so i quit and i started my own business and that's where i am today so let's just say i'm very very happy now little you know anxiety attacks happen panic attacks happen but i'm human you know i just wish there was five of me sometimes and i i, I don't i try not to complain that much because i'm very very lucky to be where i am with my business and with my life right now but for the people who tell me to stop complaining or to you know be grateful for what i have like i'm 100 percent grateful for what i have like you have no idea how grateful I am for like everything that you know the last six years that's been happening with my business but I'm still human and you know I don't want to just cookie cutter and show you the great things of running a business because like if someone's watching and they want to run a business they they have to know that it's not it's not all sunshine and rainbows let me tell you it is not a lot of it is because you're your own boss you make up your you know on schedule but you also have to be your own boss you have to be you have to have you know commitment to what you're doing you have to get up in the morning you have to set a schedule for yourself and like yes i if i wanted to i could lay on the couch all day if i wanted to but i don't because i have so much to do that i personally only can do and it's not gonna get done and i'm not gonna get you know paid or anything like if i don't do the work so you need a lot of self-discipline to own your own business and run your own business and let me tell you i never had that I never had that because I didn't love what I did, but I do now. And I'm not gonna get sentimental or sappy about it, but I really, really, really love where I am in my life right now. And it's just cool to say that because for a lot of my life I didn't. So, um, anywho, before I start crying on YouTube, um, <laughs> I'm not going to, I promise. I've cried on TikTok, it's fine. Um, but I was voiceovering, it was just a video of me crying, so that doesn't count. I've never actually showed real tears. No, lies, I definitely showed real tears, it's fine. Uh, as for the update, that was the update, it's just everything is just, there's a lot going on every day, and if you want to keep up with that, literally, literally every single day, I never miss a day, I never, I never miss a day, never, ever, will I ever, because I think today will be the 80th. 88th? 88th vlog that I'll be posting. So I've been daily vlogging for 88 days, which is crazy, but I love it so much. It's so fun. So, and I love my little like TikTok family that I have, and I really hope it doesn't get banned. I'll be super sad, not just because like I have like followers or whatnot, but I, I don't know, I connect with a lot of people on TikTok, and that's just kind of like my escape at the night, at night before I go to bed, because like I don't look at my phone really ever during the day because I'm working so much. All I do is I shoot my little snippets and then at night, that's whenever I look on TikTok and I look on Instagram, I look on, you know, all of that. So it's kind of my escape from the real world and my busy schedule. And I know it's a lot of people's escape, so I really hope it doesn't get banned. But if it does, we will just figure something out and we'll always have Instagram. I'm always on Instagram, so. I still do some um, Instagram stories and whatnot. If I need to rant about something, <laughs> I put it on my story, but other than that, I just post um, a lot of the same things 
from TikTok to Instagram. Also, ever since this whole banning things happened, I've been posting, like actually posting on my Instagram every single vlog, every single day, in case. Because some people don't have TikTok or they're not allowed to have TikTok, but they're allowed to have Instagram, so they wanna still see my vlogs, so I post them on Instagram as well. So, if TikTok is banned, you can always still see my vlogs on my Instagram. And not on YouTube yet, because I need to get time to uh, do actual vlogging. I do miss vlogging, not gonna lie. I do miss like holding this camera all the time, wherever I go, but I pretty much just go home and go to the studio. And sometimes curbside pickup. I don't know, I don't know where that went, but it went so many different places. So if you're still here, thank you. That was Alexa telling me that there was someone at my front door, not here, but home. And we have two Alexas in here, so like they both talk and it just sounds like someone's in here when it's just me. It's kind of creepy at night, not gonna lie. So, um, like I said, if you're still here, there's probably two people still here. So hi, how are you? I hope your day is good, but I gotta get to work. So I will see you guys in the next video. Don't know when that's gonna be. I wish I could tell you a better date, but the next video will be my studio um, reveal, I guess. Not totally, because obviously I'm not done with it because I need to do murals. I need to do more color because everything is just gray in here. So I gotta bring in the teal, I gotta bring in the rainbow and all the LED lights. So I just haven't had time to do that. So it will be the first, you know, first segment of my studio. I knew studio reveal, I guess. So, okay, well I'm gonna go, because it's already four o'clock, and I have about probably eight to 10 hours. I'll probably stay here till like one or 2 a.m. tonight. It is currently four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm still here, I'm so tired. But I have to get this video up, so that's, I'm still here. So I've been here since 11 a.m., I think, so. Long day. I'm I'm exhausted. I can't even see straight right now. Also, don't, just don't look behind me. We're, you know, I'm so tired. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna finish editing. Okay, bye. So, yeah! Yay! I'm so glad to be back in the studio. I went away for a week to the beach with my family, so. But I'm back. I'm get to work. I'm so Thank you for watching. I'm so sorry that this entire video was so delayed. Like I said, for the two people that are still here, I hope if you make stickers, I hope it works out. You don't have to use sticker app. That's just what I use. You can use sticker mule. A lot of people use that or the Cricut machine. Do whatever you want to do. I just wanted to help you guys. Oh, I hope it helped. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to go before I keep talking about absolutely nothing. All right, um, I'm going to, I'll see you guys later. I wish I could give you a because then it'll stress me out that I have to get to that date. <laughs> but if you wanna see my daily life of running my entire business, you can also see my studio on my TikTok. I know I've literally said that five times, uh, but it's just Zenspire Designs at, tic at TikTok.com. That's not correct. It's uh, Zenspire Designs on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube. I do have a Twitter, but I never use it. I have probably like 600 people that actually follow me. I never. So don't, don't even follow me on there because just don't. <laughs> um, on Facebook, I'm Zenspire Designs. And that, I think that's all the social medias that I have. Oh, also Snapchat, Zenspire Designs. And I also have Pinterest at Zenspire Designs. I'm so tired. It's just Zenspire Designs literally anywhere. So just Google Zenspire Designs. And you know, I may have something that I don't even know that I have. So anywho, I'm gonna go. All right. Someone is at the front door. Someone. Someone is at the front door. Oh my god. Who is at my front door? Someone is at the front door. Okay, are you done? Thank you. Okay. I guess that's my cue to leave. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. So hopefully this helped. Hopefully it wasn't super long. It's probably like 28 minutes long. It's like 40 minutes long. I don't even know what this video is by this time. I don't even know. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. We're back. It's fine. That's all that matters. So, okay. I love you guys. And I will talk to you or see you on TikTok.
Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye. I don't even know what that is. Okay. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm just kidding. That's why I said my TikTok. Goodbye. Mm -mm 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 -mm.